Rain, Rain, Go Away by Steve Metzger. It was a bright sunny day. Time to go outside, said Mrs. D as she looked at the clock. The dinosaurs quickly lined up by the door. I'm going to be Cinderella, said Tracy. Turning to Joshua, she asked, do you want to be Prince Charming? No way, said Joshua. I'm going to climb to the top of the jungle gym and pretend it's a rocket. Then I'll blast off to the moon. I'm going to dig a deep tunnel in the sandbox, said Albert. Then I'll drive trucks and cars through it. Those are wonderful ideas, said Mrs. D. It sounds like outside time will be lots of fun. But all at once, the sky became dark. It started to rain, softly at first, then harder and harder. Oh no, said Tara. Now we can't go outside. I really wanted to dig a tunnel, said Albert in a sad voice. This is the worst day ever, said Brendan. Then Joshua sang this song. Albert's sad, Brendan's mad, Tara has a frown. We can't play outside because the rain is falling down. A few moments later, there was a flash of lightning, followed by a loud clap of thunder. I don't like thunder, said Albert. It hurts my ears. Don't be afraid, said Brendan. It's only a little noise. Be brave like me. Suddenly, there was another flash of lightning and more thunder, even louder than before. That must be a monster, exclaimed Brendan as he ducked under a table. Go away, big monster. It's not a monster, Brendan, said Mrs. D. It is only noise, just like you said. Looking at the other children, she continued, I'm sorry we can't go outside. Would you like to hear a story instead? The children shook their heads now. I know, said Joshua. I can use the big carton in Mrs. D's closet to make an inside rocket ship. That's a great idea, said Mrs. D. Can I play with you? asked Tara. I want to go to the moon too. Sure, replied Joshua. I can play Cinderella in the dramatic play area, said Tracy. Do you want to be in my Cinderella game? she asked Danielle. Yes, I do, Danielle nodded. And I can dig a tunnel in our classroom, sand table, said Albert. I'll use small inside trucks instead of big outside trucks. I'll help you, Brendan said to Albert. Well, said Mrs. D, you sure have lots of wonderful ideas. I'm glad the rain didn't make you sad for very long. Mrs. D took out of the big carton from her closet took out the big carton from her closet. She cut out openings for a door and two windows. Joshua and Tara went inside and got ready for their trip to the moon. Meanwhile, Tracy, as Cinderella, swept the floor and Danielle pret pretended to be a cute mouse helping her. At the same time, Albert and Brendan began to dig a tunnel in the sandbox, but the tunnel kept caving in. Mrs. D, Mrs. D, Albert called out. This sand is too dry. Can we get water from the sink to make the sand stick together? Okay, said Mrs. D from across the room, but not too much. Albert and Brennan filled small buckets at the sink and started to dump water into the sandbox. Over in the dramatic play area, Tracy said, okay, Danielle, now it's time for you to be one of the ugly stepsisters. No, said Danielle, I don't want to be an ugly anything. I'm going to paint a picture instead. Goodbye, she said as she walked over to the easel. I'll paint a rainbow, she thought Danielle. Should I make the top part yellow or red? She looked at the different paints, trying to figure out the best way to begin. Inside the rocket ship, Joshua pointed to a black spot in the box. This is the blast off button, he said. Let's start the countdown and then I'll press it. Ready? 10, 9, 8. But I want to press the blast off button, said Tara, pushing Joshua aside. Mrs. D, said Joshua. Tara's pushing me. Cool, I'll be right there, said Mrs. D. 
In the meantime, Brendan and Albert had forgotten all about their tunnel and were pouring bucket after bucket of water into the sand table. This is fun, said Albert. It sure is, said Brendan, as he threw in another bucket of water. Some water landed on Tracy, who was pretending to be Cinderella at the ball. Mrs. D, Mrs. D, said Tracy. Brendan splashed me with water and now I'm all wet. Mrs. D didn't know what to do first. Then she looked out the window. Hey, everybody, said Mrs. D. It stopped raining. The children all rushed over to the window to look, except Danielle. No more rain, said Joshua with a smile. Let's go outside, said Tara. No, said Danielle across the room. I just started to paint my rainbow, and now I want to stay inside. But we all have to go together, said Mrs. D. I don't care, said Danielle. Danielle, said Tracy, come over and look at the sky. You'll really like it. Danielle slowly walked over to the window and looked up. It's a rainbow, Danielle said in a loud voice. A real rainbow. Mrs. D opened the door and all of the children ran outside. Racing toward the jungle gym, Joshua sang this new song. Hooray, hooray, the sun is out. The rain is gone, goodbye. We're so glad because we see a rainbow in the sky. The end.